when we get into certain, uh, 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 like certain times of the year, when certain areas where you begin to start seeing the effects of that with people at war, people killing one another, people getting angry, getting shot, things like that. It's when your higher consciousness just turns down to the lower and the, and the dragon begins to devour all of your higher energy consciousness. As humans, we are trapped as a result in the seven harmonic field of star evolution, the seventh harmonic field of star evolution. The Dravidians call this particular star harmonic evolution Darvna, D-A-R-V-N-A, or D-A-R-V-N-A, Darvna Ratri. Darvna Ratri. This particular entropic energy is the what is called, Dhavna Atri is called the night of frustration. This is when the earth goes into a specific star cluster and everything on the planet begins to come depressed. Mm. Whole species like animals, you see elephants, why are elephants going into tar pits and just dying now? Why are species dying out at six and seven and ten times? Why are whales washing up on shore? They are feeling the frustration of the planet. And this caucasoid is part of that energy frustration that we are exhibiting, that we are being feel, we are being participated in. We are participating, but we are being participated against our will. We just happen to come back at a time when everything is being flushed down the toilet. But there are some amongst us who are here who are actually seeing the days and the times, tabulating it, and are growing our soul as a result. There is no superfluous time spent if you spend it in learning, if you spend it in researching yourself, seeing who you are and could be with the next person. Mm -hmm. Because your soul is growing in light. You are energizing that field that you represent individually. So if the world were to blow up tomorrow, physically, your psycho-spiritual self, the soul energy, would have retained the experience, though you may not have retained the language. And that experience will find the language that allows it to express itself in another life. Mm -hmm. So it never is lost. Mm -hmm. So when people come to you and say, live fast, die young, make a pretty corpse, that don't make no sense. That's a fool. You see. So, every day that you have the chance, study. And study thyself. Every morning you wake up, look in the mirror. And what do you see to you? Because the one looking in the mirror is the student. The teacher is the reflection. And that's the secret behind how the Creator created. You see, the creator is the student. Mm -hmm. And you, by your actions and the things that you do every day, what you perceive and receive by experience, the creator receives in turn. Mm -hmm. So you have a job to do. Mm -hmm. You are the teacher of the creator. And some people say, well, how can you blaspheme? We are here to serve the creator. No. The Creator serves us so that we may be better and better so that it may be served in return. Mm. It can't know a damn thing if it's pushing you down or telling you you're damn forever in hell. Oh shit, I might as well just go ahead. You allow me to do this, if I can do everything that I want to do, why not do everything I want to do? Now you're going to damn me for it? That's the myopic thinking of a, of a, of a prisoner, prison planet mentality. Mm -hmm. And that's why our DNA is so frustrated at this time. Now this night of frustration is the present harmonic field that traps the planetary intelligence of man so that he cannot get behind or beyond the present sevenfold nature of cycles and changes on this planet. Mm -hmm. Man is chained through his inactive DNA to Earth's geometric cycles. Let me say that again. Man is chained to his DNA through the inactive cycles. Let me ask right to his inactive DNA. In other words, mm -hmm. the DNA that is not alive out of the six to the nine, that DNA represents what keeps him entropically chained to the physical planet. 
and to this reality. That's why they call it gravity. Why do they call it gravity? Because it's essentially a grave. That's what it does. It pulls you in. Life is entropic in its nature. But the spark of the creator is what moves it forward. So man is chained through his inactive DNA to earth's geometric and magnetic cycles. There are seven days for quote-unquote creation. Seven years to the age of reason. Seven chakras. Seven year cycles for age progression of the cell. Seven seconds, seven milliseconds, seven nanoseconds before the phosphine explosions occur toward the inner dimensions of the mind. In other words, at that point where you begin to know yourself as you raise the seventh chakra, it, to it goes into seconds, then nanoseconds as you plunge deeper into the well that you represent, that consciousness that you call the creator. This night of frustration is a point in human consciousness evolution where the physical ordering of the mind must come to the realization that even star evolution does not share any singular space and time indefinitely. In other words, what we're looking at as the stars above us at this time, what we're seeing presently is not and will not remain like that forever. Even the stars are developing and evolving because they are conscious as themselves. You see, the earth is conscious as itself. It knows itself as water. It knows itself as earth. It knows itself as fire. It knows itself as atmosphere. But you see, it does not become conscious of itself until man walks upon it. You see what I'm saying? You can't... Man, don't, 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 don't get me wrong, sisters, but man. Man is mother, father, son. Mother, father, son, in the ancient Hebrew, which is Eu, Hebrew came from this word, Eu, which is the name of an African god, and the name of the people were the Eus. So the Hebrew himself, Hebrews, I don't call it the Hebrew language or, you know, the, the fire letters that they have, that's not the Hebrew language. That Hebrew language, or the fire letters, come from the hieroglyphics of light. See? This is where it came from. So light creates fire. Fire is a condensed value of light. It is a conditioned value of light. Alright? And fire being a conditioned value of light would have to extrapolate from light. So the first languaging system were hieroglyphic pictographs that were beamed in in the form of light codes that we then translated into what you see as the hieroglyphics or what I call the medunetia. Mm -hmm. So the medunetia were the first, which means that's the light language. But I call the Hebrew language the ku medu, which is the fire language. Because all of the Hebrew languages are actually the representation of flames in their different, if you look at them, they're the representation of fire, all of them. It's all about the way fire dances. So the flame language, Kumadu, is what we are studying now in this particular part of what we're dealing with as a reality. Mm -hmm. Now, I don't know if I was going to show you something. Again, I, get, get, I always get caught up because there's so much to teach and to say before we can get to the questions. I want to make sure I get all of this down so that we have something to work with. Well, let me just put this down. The, 12, the human body has 12 meridians. We'll come back to that. Mm -hmm. The earth has 12 meridians. All are connected to the 12 meridians, light beams, of the star constellations, the 12 star constellations called the zodiac. All of the 12 star constellations, all of the 12 meridians of the earth and the 12 meridians of humanity are interconnected to form new thresholds of awareness. That means how they interplay one with the other can provide the doorway for humanity to come out of the present perception and into another reality. Their interplay can be seen in the form of helical energy patterns that match the